starting out solitary it's the be witch and we are on week 227 and this is going to be a controversial topic and it is um like what we think about using animal products such as like feathers bones and whatnot in our practice this is an evolving area of mine because initially i didn't really care and then as I've gotten a little bit older, a little bit wiser, um, a little bit more sensitive to these things, <laughs> um, I, and I believe I've stated this kind of before, definitely on my own channel, is if it's naturally received, like a feather that naturally came off of a flying bird, um, a pelt that naturally was shed or an animal that died naturally and you retrieved it, same thing with the bones, then I'm pretty okay with it. Um, but to kill an animal, uh, to get these or to injure them while they're alive, no, uh, definitely not. Um, now when it comes to like say like subsistence living um where you have to hunt to survive or at least it it helps you survive <laughs> like say in alaska or something where most of them will use every part of the animal i'm okay with that um there are a lot of native practices uh that i'm on the fence about such as like whaling um yeah, whaling, I'm not a fan of. There's no need for it. And when an animal's endangered, it really should be left alone. <laughs> in this day and age, I'm, even in the most like far-reaching areas, you, you, you don't need to do that to survive. You still have, while well, the weather's good, like during the summer, you can stock up on canned goods. You don't need to kill a whale. Um... But I understand also tradition with spirituality, especially um, in cultures where it's a significant thing. And obviously in America, it's not really anymore. But there are still places in the world where pagan practices um, do require killing of animals and to use those body parts. Um, it is definitely something I respect cultural practices, but if there's a way to avoid it from harming an animal, especially an endangered one, to do what you need to do, try to, because it's just, in this day and age, you just can't really afford to <laughs> kill more animals. Um, I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, I'm not a tree hugger, um, but I'm very aware of our impact on nature. And again, as I'm getting older and definitely living in an area where nature is surrounding me um, and seeing how so many animals are dying because of climate change by itself, I'm very hesitant to use any animal products um, that weren't quote unquote freely given by the animal, <laughs> like by natural means. Um, I do have things that were gifted to me and I can't verify that they were retrieved ethically. I believe they were, but I can't 100% um, know that. Uh, feathers are pretty easy to come by without harming a bird because um, they shed them all the time. Um, same thing with like horns. Not, they're not as abundant, obviously, um, and you'd have to really be looking for them, but you can find them. Um, anyways, um, that kind of wraps up my thoughts on the whole using it. I've slowly been giving them away, or if they're just in really bad condition, just tossing them or recycling them into like compost, if that's possible. 
Um, but me personally, I do try to avoid it. I'd actually be more, and this is probably really morbid, I'd probably be more comfortable using the bone of a person than a bone of an animal. I don't know why. <laughs> and obviously, no, don't tell anyone to get a bone, but you know, shit happens. <laughs> well, now on that note, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.